give me a good wife, give me a good husband, settle down, have some kids, man. And she, you know, grow old and then die and then go to heaven and meet Jesus. And then everything will be okay from there. That's what you believe life is. That's what we were taught. Facts. You know how many motherfuckers be looking forward to death because life's so fucked up? Nigga be like, man, shit, nigga. Once this shit over with, nigga, I live the good one, so I know I'm going to meet Jesus. You see? You said they do you. They said they do you. We talk about the soul. We talk about the truth about life and death right now. So now you came here to Earth, AKA Planet Kai, on a mission. You entered through a portal called the womb that human beings have programmed the gods to believe is called life. Okay, I repeat. So you entered onto this planet Kai, AKA Earth, through a portal that humans have programmed the gods to believe is a womb or called life. They manipulate and harness your electricity and your energy and your soul and your magnetism, your entire existence in this simulation called life. You never come and emit the right, the proper energy, electrical impulse that you need to here in this simulation called life. So what do I mean by emit electrical impulses? You are elect base at your base form. You are electricity. Everything you do leaves an electrical imprint on the Akashic records of the planet. The Akashic records, all right, is like a, a holographic library that exists that documents every event that ever took place on this planet has been documented by the Akashic records. Because for, if for anything to transpire in this material realm, it requires energy. So if it requires energy and electricity, that means it has to leave an electrical blueprint. So like every little thing you do, when you think, when you move your hand, when you look to the left, look to the right, that leaves an electrical blueprint on the, the Akashic records of the planet. The planet is alive, right? So and yeah, the Akashic records, the only way to in, enter them is through meditative, through us. We the only ones that can in, access it. They can't. They be trying. And the, up, and, the, uh, and the other entry point is in the pyramids. You can actually enter through the pyramids too. Right? And they can't get there. So yeah, it get deep, but this is what they program you to believe life is. Right? Let's stay focused. So, you enter through this portal, right? And now you're in this reality, a simulation that they call a reality or life. And you never emit any electrical impulses here. You never leave any because you spent your entire life not fulfilling your soul contract that only you were able to do. You gave your electricity and your magnetism, which is your spirit and your soul, away to false gods that don't even exist because they programmed you to do so. Your entire life. Then they teach you that Death is a real thing. Then one day you leave and that's it. You only live once. And that's what they say. They even made it, they even made it a popular quote when Drake was rapping it. YOLO. I would never rap that spell casting witchcraft shit. What I like you or you don't know. No, you don't only live once. So why would I say that? Alright? Why would I lie to myself like that? At your base form, you are you are energy. Energy don't die, it dissipates. This is the science of you. This is the molecular biology of us. This cannot be argued. At your very form, you are 666. We talking photon energy, plasma energy, organ energy, carbonated beings. You cannot argue that science of you. You can't dispute that with what? Dispute it with what? Dispute it with what? 
When what? A joke? Okay, a joke is a joke. That still ain't gonna change the science, though. We can laugh at the joke, but after we laugh at the joke, the science still the science, though. The math still the math, though. Two plus two gonna always be four. See what I'm saying? See, science and numbers is the, it's the, it's the language of the universe. See, when I talk to y'all, I talk the language of the universe. Fuck all that fancy shit. See what I'm saying? They try to lose you with that shit. Fuck all that fancy shit. I go dissect they bullshit and bring it back to y'all and break it down and give it to the hood the right way. You feel me? Like, I'm telling you, you. You see what I'm saying? And when they got you believing and giving your power to religion and false gods your whole life, right? Believing in Jesus and all that type of shit. You leave no electrical imprint. You do not fulfill your soul contract at all. Then your ass sit here and you believing in time. We've been believing in time our whole life. All right? They trick us to believe in something called time, which, the, which is the only reason death is possible. Let me repeat. Before they came, these avatars never did what they call die. Remember, because you don't die. Even when the avatar died, the soul, the spirit just leaves, transcends the, transcends the, the planet, and goes into the astral planes or it finds another body. Keep in mind, you have bodies on every planet, every galaxy, right? So there's no such thing as death, right? But in that physical sense of what they tell you death is, right? Your, your avatar did not always do that. These didn't always do that. All right? So what changed it? We talking about the truth about life and death. What brought about what they call death or that or this belief? What do you think death is? When you think of death, you think of the aging of the avatar, of the body, right? Somebody getting older and then like, because you can die old, you can die young, right? But you literally, you, you literally think about when you think of death, you think of this avatar, their, their body being killed, right? Not being able to move anymore. Not not having any life force in it anymore. So you think immediately, I'm not going to see this person again. This this is the last time. I'm not going to see them again to heaven or some shit. You feel it? Because you believe in this heaven, right? But in reality, these bodies didn't always go through that phase. Before they landed on our planet in their year of 1492, these bodies never died at all. What brings about the decaying of these bodies, which is what we call death, right? Right? Or even an agent of the body, because even if you shoot somebody in the head, right? You got people that get shot in the head, and you ever wonder why some people don't die when they get shot in the head? And you got some people get shot in the leg and they die. All right? It has nothing to do with them getting shot. It has nothing to do with them getting shot. That's not what unplugs you out of this matrix. This is a simulation. They unplug you out of this matrix. You don't hear me. This is a simulation. That's not what unplugged you out of the matrix. It might come across in this reality as a gunshot, <laughs> but that ain't what unplugged you out of this simulation. See what I'm saying? That's how deep we get. That ain't what be unplugging them out of these simulations. And then it was a time when you could never get unplugged. Because they're, they, they are using chemical warfare to create this false narrative of what we know is death. Called death. And also your belief in it. Now they gave you religion your whole life just for this point of death. So you basing everything you know about death off religion. Like, okay, well, when you die, if you do good, you go to heaven. You do bad, you go to hell. Ain't no heaven to hell. That's a motherfucking lie, nigga. You know what happened at death? Y'all know what really happened at death? Nigga, what they call death is not more than your soul and your spirit leaving the avatar, nigga. You leave the avatar. Now you got two options. You can, you can turn around to that darkness, nigga, and keep going to other realms, other galaxies, and keep moving because you've already experienced this reality called Earth. Or you can go into the motherfucking light, nigga. You got two options at what they call death because when your soul and spirit leaves the avatar, it takes 40 to 72 days for it to fully leave the planet. So when somebody, when you see somebody dead, they saw their spirit still be in the atmosphere though. It takes 40 to 72 days for a soul and spirit to fully transcend 
this atmosphere after the point of what they call death. Man. Hear me? So look, once you at that point, you got two options. You can either A, go into the light, or B, go into the darkness. If A, if you go into the fucking light, that's the moonlight. You're going to go into the moon's light, it's going to pull your ass in, and they're going to bleach your soul of its memories and redirect it back here to Earth, and that's what we call reincarnation. Okay? You don't want to do that. That's what a lot of you have been doing. Going into the moonlight. No soul that's, been, that's here is new. Every soul born after 1950 to be exact is the ancient soul, and they call us indigo children. So if you have carbon in your skin, black or Latino, and you were born after the year 1950 on back to now, you are an ancient soul. So that means your mamas. Yeah, y'all mamas, our mamas and shit, they ancient soul. 1950 on back. All right? Ancient souls. So you came back just for this war. You feel me? Because you, these are the souls that was here when they first took over the planet from us. Or your soul that was born in 96. Or your soul that was born in 2002. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's how it works. It's the opposite. Because it started in 1950 on back. All right? So, your, op your, your, your second option, we know A is going into the light. All right? B is going into the darkness. You turn around, you go into the darkness. If you go into the darkness, you break free of reincarnation. You will now have full freedom to go wherever you want to go from there. Because that's how life really was before they created the moonlight and hijacked this realm and put us under light cold lockdown, which what we are under, which they are doing that through blocking out the suns, right? With the clouds, right? So the whole time you're in this reality, they push this fear of death into you and, and this belief of heaven and hell so that you don't rise up against them from the inside and take back your planet. Understand, it's the only reason that they have pushed the fear of death towards you. Because without that fear of death, you wouldn't take half this shit that the police, the government, and 